Surf City, El Salvador, at this amazing vacation rental, Via Sueño, it's right in the heart of Surf City. I mean, just take a look at this view. What you are seeing behind me is the beach. That is La Libertad, El Salvador. Off to the right, we have the port and Sunset Park, which we're going to take a closer look at in just a little bit. Off to the left, we have El Tunco, Sunsal, El Zonte. I mean, it's Surf City, baby. And this place is awesome. It's an entire open concept. Off to the right here we have the living space and the attention to detail is so cute. They left us these t-shirts for Carlos and I, built-in souvenir, and you get one too if you stay here for at least a week. And you're going to want to stay here for at least a week. This sofa turns into a pull-out futon if you need an additional sleeping space. There's an AC that cools off this entire space and keeps it super comfortable and a giant smart Samson TV. I'm not quite sure how many inches it is, but it's an entire Carol wingspan. That's how big it is. And speaking of smart, this entire house is set up smart. There are Alexas everywhere, remotes for all of the lights, including the pool, and the Wi-Fi is super strong. Over here, we have the kitchen area with all modern appliances and a floating island so you can keep an eye on your guests and your kiddos while they're playing in the pool. There is even games for you to play. We're gonna be doing this a little bit later. But there are two bedrooms, so I wanna show you the first one. Let's take a look. This is the first of the two bedrooms, and it has the same amazing view as the living space that we just saw. It has a giant king-size bed, I believe. It's super comfortable. It has its own AC and an additional giant smart TV. There's even a desk for working, so you can get anything done while you're here, if you can peel yourself away from the beach and pool long enough, that is. It has its own bathroom right over here, it is so spacious, you guys, and I love the tiles and the shower. Check this out. So cute. For those of you curious, there is no hot water, but it doesn't mean that the water is cold either. It is room temperature, and here at the beach, that's how you're going to want it. Trust me. Let's take a look at the other bedroom. It's right over this way, across the hall. That view. This is the second bedroom. It's got the same amazing view, except this room has two twin beds. This is where the girls have been staying. It also has its own AC unit and smart TV, as well as its own individual bathroom, identical to the last room. This place is truly amazing. I wanna show you outside. I know you already got a sneak peek, but let's go take a closer look, come on. This view, it never gets old. It's beautiful. And this alfresco dining experience is so awesome. Or as my girl's been utilizing it lately as an art table while they paint the sunset. <laughs> it's so much fun. This pool though, it's epic, you guys. It lights up at night in many different colors. Que chivo. And you get the view of the ocean and enjoy this time with your entire family or a friend group. Starting at only $160 a night for up to six people, this place is a steal. I invite you to come experience it for yourself, but until then, I invite you to enjoy the stay with us. Let's go. Have fun. 
five seconds to subscribe. One, five, four, three, two, one. one. Did you have to subscribe? Yeah. Good job. You good job. You good job. So it wouldn't be a trip to Surf City if we didn't make a stop at Sunset Park. And we're actually meeting up with my suegra and Carlos's cousin. I'm stoked because this is my first time, so we're gonna do this together. Did I mention that I have a fear of roller coasters? <laughs> we parked in the parkade and we took a shortcut through the port. This is the new port. It's gonna be opening up very soon, and so then we can go take a closer look. For now, Sunset Park. than it looks in all the pictures. I'm a little freaked out. Hey guys, doesn't Sunset Park look amazing? I just wanna take a quick second and tell you about something really cool. You know I'm always trying to improve my Spanish? Well, I found an incredible program called Story Learning. Story Learning is unlike any other language program that I've ever tried. Instead of learning through boring grammar drills, you learn through engaging stories. Just like how I learned English as a kid, by reading stories and letting my imagination run wild. Es una buena idea, dijo Marta. Marta es científica. First, you listen to an audio version of the story, and then you read along while listening a few more times. And it's totally okay if you don't catch everything at first. Neither do I. But it's amazing how naturally you pick up on the grammar and the vocabulary. And honestly, the stories are so engaging, I can't wait to find out what happens next. So if you've tried other language programs and felt stuck, story learning might be exactly what you need. It's designed to help you break through those barriers and finally get on the path to fluency. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity to master a new language with story learning. And make sure to click on the link down below in my description box for a huge discount for a limited time only on any of the 11 languages offered for $297 USD down to $97. Muchísimas gracias, Story Learning, for sponsoring today's video y por ayudarme y mejorar mi español en una manera divertida. Now back to Sunset Park for some family fun. Vamos! Sunset Park is open Wednesday through Sundays and has a unique payment method for all of its fun rides. So you buy the card for a buck and then you put uh, you put the money that you want to spend. Like saldo. Right. So then this is what we'll use to get on the right. Awesome! Right? So smart. It is. Now that we have our card, the only question was, what ride do we do first? The girls had their hearts set on the carousel. But Karen Sita and I, we have other plans. Here we go! <laughs>
Park here in Surf City, El Salvador is just gorgeous, especially, you guessed it, during sunset. But the only way to watch the sunset here is aboard the Noria. Let's go. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at that sunset behind us in Sunset Park. This is glorious. This is beautiful. And the beach is just that way. Everything else is this way. This is so cool. <laughs> roller coaster from this point of view made Luna realize she wanted to give it a whirl. Getting to go on a roller coaster with my daughter for her very first time is a core memory for me for sure. So Luna and I are in line for the coaster. It's her first time. Are you excited? Not my first time. I'm going to be the first Well, your first one here at Sunset Park. First time. And we ran into a friend. Hi! It's a little noisy over there, so I hope you can hear him. Come in. Come in. Can you want to say hi to anybody? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Hola. Hello. Am I able to ride the ride? With me, you are. Still, I'm going to back out now. Literally, it's too late. As to be expected, the food at Sunset Park, like any amusement park, is not the most economical option available, but it's surprisingly delicious, and we couldn't help but try a few snacks to hold us over before heading back to Villa Sueños for dinner. You have more chocolate on you than the banana. Belmont Park in San Diego where I grew up. There's a roller coaster right out by the ocean, bumper cars, an arcade. It's really cool. Not as cool as Sunset Park though. This place is freaking awesome. And what I love about it is the same concept though. Is you can come and spend all day here or you can come and spend all day at the beach and just stop by and ride this awesome roller coaster or iconic Ferris wheel and spend time together as a family. Ah! 
After a fun-filled evening at Sunset Park, we headed back to our Airbnb via Sueños for a cozy barbecue dinner. The night was filled with laughter as we splashed around the pool, watched a movie, and played some board games. Spoiler alert, we quickly realized that Sorry wasn't our family favorite. And decided to stick with Uno. As the night drew to a close, we all headed to bed. But I had plans to wake up early while the family was still resting. I wanted to get a head start in editing this video for you. But first things first, I need coffee. Those birds are really loud. It's cool. They've obviously had their coffee. Good morning, buenos dias. I woke up to film the sunrise and start editing this video already, bringing it out to you guys. And uh, it's such a beautiful morning. The birds are chirping. I can hear the ocean in the distance. And even though it's a little hazy, so the sunrise wasn't just blaring at you this morning, it felt really nice to wake up with the sun. I need more coffee, though. What do you guys think about this place? really has been well a dream I cannot recommend this place enough make sure to check out vacationselsalvador.com for any booking information I'll link all of that down below for you it's checkout in just a little bit but we're soaking in some more of the Sun and pool before we head out we are gonna make one additional stop before we head home and I'm really excited about this one Fried fish and what? And the regular cocktails that I love, you know? I'm torn between the fried fish and the shrimp and the mahi mahi tacos. Okay, this menu is hilarious. It's hilarious. My favorites are El Hipocrita. Hipocrita. ¿Cómo se dice? Hipocrita. Hipocrita. What yeah. did I say? Hipocrita. <laughs> I made up a word. <laughs> okay, so hipócrita. Como tu ex. <laughs> Con dos caras y perfecto para compartir por abajo camarones en salsa rosada y por encima camarones empanizados. Oh, that's hilarious. And there's also the soup that raises the dead, right? El levanta muertos. La levanta muerto caldo de nuestro delicioso jaibas. Uh, a la leña con dos huevos y acompañada de tortilla frita. Hmm. This is hilarious. There's like crazy tortillas. There's a bunch of like, this menu is hilarious. And this food looks so good. And this view, it's unbeatable. Just and I were just saying that it's like, it reminds me of like old school Tunco, right? Like when I first moved here 14 years ago, Carlos would take me to El Tunco. And aside from the Tunco, the rock, 
it doesn't look very similar to how it used to. And that's how I fell in love with El Salvador. Actually, like he would take me to this restaurant that is now at the corner at the end when you walk down the like boardwalk, right? But it's all paved now and it's two stories. It used to be one story and there was no floor. Your feet- Kind of like this. Kind of like this. Your feet were in the sand and we would go and watch the game like Real Madrid versus Barcelona and they would wheel out the television like in like grade school <laughs> if, if you're old like us uh, like in grade school they would wheel it out and you'd watch this TV strapped by a belt on a cart with your feet in the sand sharing a ball day it was it was magical it was magical and it's still magical now it's just different different and this reminds me of the classic version this feet, nothing beats your feet on the sand no and the ocean right in front of you you know the and food the is going to be fresh the sound the smell it smells so fresh there's the wind coming off right now it's a beautiful day and i am starving so i'm really looking forward to this fish you got the big fish yeah i got the little fish and the girls got fish fingers so it's a fishy day <laughs> and telling you about El Salvador. But for a moment, I want to talk to you about Carol and who I used to be. <laughs> I mean, I've always been me, obviously. But when I first came here, I was a very work-centric person. <laughs> I didn't think I could have kids. I didn't think it was in my heart. Everyone used to say that I ran all the time. When I first moved here, everyone was like, Carol, why are you running? Why are you running constantly? And I'm like, I don't want to run. Dude, I was running. And the thing is, I wasn't running away from anything, but I wasn't running to anything. I was just work, work, deadline. Time is money. And, and it is. There is a sense of urgency. And, you, you do need to pay the bills, but you don't have to do it the way that I was doing it. Places like this remind me that it's okay to slow down and it's okay to breathe. They remind me that I'm living and that I like my life. I love my life. I mean, what's not to love? Mark, all of us, about nine to ten people in the car, and we would come to a place like this, and we would just camp out here. My grandma would bring soups and all, everything that she wanted to for us to eat. And we would sleep on the sand. That's where we would sleep until the next day. Yes, yes. Ooh, that looks amazing. Aprovecho.
importante podríamos haber comido en cualquier parte cerca hay muchos restaurantes pero no hay nada mejor que en lo local frente a la playa con los piecitos tocando la arena un pescado de esos no es por decir hablar mal de restaurantes es, es fabuloso pero creo que el, 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 la sensación de estar ahí frente al mar y tener algo tan, tan fresco es totalmente diferente so yeah I mean it's an experience and it's something that people should also look into it's, Yeah, there's good restaurants, but there's also local, small, uh, family-owned places that that is their way of, you know, making money, and it's delicious. It's grandma's recipes most of the time, so it's you can't go wrong. I totally agree, and that fish was amazing, incredible. How was your fish, ladies? Good. So good. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. Such a delicious meal, such a perfect way to end this trip to Surf City. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we did. Check out vacationselsalvador.com for more information on your next trip. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel and welcome. <laughs> it's awesome. There's a shower. Well, of course, there's a shower. It's a bathroom. <laughs> okay. So we're staying here in Surf City. I forgot El Salvador. Guys, do you think the fish is off into banana? No. <laughs> I thought so too. They've obviously had their coffee. Goodbye, I love you.